How's it going everyone? It's Sorcerer and back with an all new video and today we are having something different on the channel or uh, not different on the channel. I'm having another Adobe After Effects template here. So literally this template is third party made so if you're not having Element 3D then you cannot use this template. So I made this out in Element 3D and you can use this almost free. It means free. It's completely free. So I thought just have you guys for this template. So it's literally in an audio reactor. This thing reacts to an audio. Well, I'm using Element 3D and Trap Code Sound Keys, but I'm going to be showing you how you can adjust it according to yourself, how you can insert your audio reactions into it, and it's going to be really small and really quick. So first of all, thing you need to do, there is, let me know that there is a really great amount of color change, and this thing really takes time to render. So I haven't rendered it, so I won't be playing it at all, but you can have a check how this looks like. Okay. So the first default thing included is the element 3D. You can go ahead over to effects control and go to element 3D to check out what this looks like. I have used the tint to change the colors and I use the time remapping by simply clicking over here and then going all the way through to make it completely different colors. I use the radial blur to make that blur and make it look like the shining one. It's brightest. If you go to standard, it won't look that good. So I kept it at the brightest one. The brightest one looked pretty dope. Okay, so if you head inside of Element 3D Scene Setup, you're having it completely made up the way I have created it. It's, uh, I have used all the default things you need not to worry about so. Um, it's completely made up of strata packs and every scene material is already included. So it's just simple as that. Only thing required is Element 3D and for sound keys, what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be deleting this audio keyframing first because I have used that sound key, so I'm going to be deleting it. And now we're going to be searching for this key expression because the expression is already defined. So maybe just delete this one all so that we're not having any expression ones. And the optical flares I have used of Element 3D because I wanted them to be a pretty much dope one. So you can remove these. I'm going to be removing them from the template also. I'm going to be inserting the default so you can type in lens flares and we can insert lens flares instead of them. I'm going to be using prime. Maybe these looks pretty much good like this and maybe just a bit that one five prime looks good and similarly I'm gonna be copying this I'm gonna be pasting it inside and I'm gonna be moving it the way around right around here now set these blending modes to screen screen so there we have those lens flare up to my most select these two press T for opacity and I'm going to be changing them to 80 now you can use your element 3d layer to render it out because these look pretty much like they want to be okay so there we have our element 3d layer but it's not distorted not bouncing so what we're going to be doing is I go to element 3d from here we need to do some few things maybe go inside of group 1 and we're having rotations so you need not to work about rotations completely good the multi object here the places of displays so if you go to an open up displays this is the only things that works here and due to this displays we're having it animated the way it should so there we have it so i'm going to be keeping it zero for now and here's what you're going to get in template so what you need to do is to include import your mp3 file i imported this out your song of mine and put it right into it now what you got to do is to right click into it, go to keyframe assistant and convert audio to keyframes. So once you have done that, just wait for it to analyze audio. The composition up to, I don't know, it's really big. I don't think it's just five seconds, but according to the song, you can increase it. You can head over the composition settings and increase it according to yourself. It's five minutes. No. Okay. So go head over to the start, go to audio amplitude, it's a null object, and there we have the mp3 file. Open it, press U on your keyboard to open the channels. Now there are two things you can animate this. Either you can use the left channel and right channel to make it distortion of different types, or you can use the both channels. So I'm going to be using the left and right. So how you can do that is to delete the both channel, because we don't want them. We want them to work on different channel on the left and onto the right. Now head over to element 3D layer. Go to effect control and from here you need to go over two things. The first thing is to 
uh, here, here we have it. Displays and the other thing have scatter on multi. Now, if we increase scatter on multi, we have. I will tell you what happens really. So just wait for it to render. In mine, it renders a bit slow, so you need not to worry. According to your system specs, it will render. So what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be linking the left channel to the displays and the right channel to scatter multi. How you can do that? It's really, really simple. Click over to displays the displays layer, hold ALT on your keyboard and click onto this. Use the pick quick option and go above maybe like that. My screen's not too big so it happens. Oh come on. And link it over to the left channel slider. Like that so. So if you go ahead, maybe uh, sometime a bit, it will work accordingly. So <laughs> it is working but what the problem we are facing here is that it's too much in distortion so those things just throw way too much what you can do is to click over to this make a divide and divide it by 20 I'm just imagining I don't know what would result what would be the result if it would go too much low it will go too much high so it's going way too much so I'm going to be increasing it 30 you need to experiment around these they look pretty much good when you experiment with them 30 okay we can go with 50 oh shit Maybe I do something wrong. Just make sure that you don't delete the whole expression. Go with 50. So I think 50 is going to look good. Come on, come on, come on, render. Okay, 50 is looking pretty good. It changes the color automatically. If you don't want to change the color, you can change the tint settings. Really, really simple. Very, very simple. You can get this file down below in the description. The final thing we're going to be doing is displace random. You can either use displace random or scatter multi. I'm going to be using scatter multi. Hold Alt. Click on scatter multi. Use the pick whip. Go around. Come up, come up, come up, come up, 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 in the right channel slider. Okay, this thing is gonna work as it should, but we want that, that the scatter multi, maybe render it again, scatter multi should not be functioning way too much than the displaced one. So what you can do is to divide it by a more huge value, maybe divide it by 100 and press enter. <laughs> you can experiment, these things look pretty good if you just work around with them. Maybe I'm going to be keeping it 80, not 800, and I'm going to be keeping this one 40, maybe, I don't know, 45, 45, okay, let's see, let's see what we get. There we have it. So at the different audio places where your audio would be loud, it's going to pretty much work a bigger distortion like this one. So that would be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Not big one. You can get this template below in the description. There is only one thing required and it is Element 3D and nothing else than that. So if you have Element 3D, this thing is going to work pretty much dope for you. You can change the colors by going to Element 3D and going making this layer small and using a tint you can either make it as it as it is i have made it completely changing colors every part where the song goes it changes it change itself color so you can either change it completely whatever you want it to be the final thing would be head over and install adobe media encoder go to composition add to adobe media encoder queue and render it or you can simply add to render queue but i don't uh, means allow or maybe advise you to use the render queue it's going to make very huge huge gb files so it's not uh, means it's not recommended either you can also try out the motion blur if you want but I don't recommend motion blur because this things look pretty much good without motion blur so the motion blur is only required in element 3d layer and then motion blur from here and if you're enabling motion blur do remember that's gonna increase the rendering time also that's gonna be increasing the game uh, this uh, video play time I'm using quarter resolution because in my it really lacks a lot a lot than before either you can also use those camera adjustments those camera adjustments are really smooth and if you want to use them just make this layer 3d make um, just apply it to a 3d use a new camera and the camera option that gonna be video showing right around here you can check that out how you can use those camera tools it's gonna be really amazing I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe it's sourcing Rawat make sure that you follow my Instagram account right around here it's underscore hey and all also, also, create something awesome, signing out.